Hey, what's up everyone? It's me again, Sheree, and I'm just coming at you at work with a really quick update video. I know the last time you guys saw me, I had my box braids in and I was rocking those box braids, doing all these creative styles, but I really started to miss my hair. I haven't been for almost two months, just like a week shy of two months, and I was like, you know what, it's time to take it out because, you know, the back was starting to get a little bit tangled, you know, with the, um, the knot for the synthetic hair and my real hair meet, so just to make sure there wasn't any breakage, I I decided to take it out Valentine's Day weekend and um, my hair is thriving wonderfully. I am so excited. My hair is so much thicker. Like I'm pretty sure if you guys saw my hair from like a, a Bantu Not Out video, it's not as thick as it is right now. Like wow. I'm just, just looking at it in the camera. I'm amazed. It's maintained length. I got some length out of the protective style. I got some thickness. I'm just doing so, so well. One of the things that I'm going to be starting soon is a castor oil um, regimen. Just adding that to my scalp and seeing if that does anything to my hair process. And, you know, just letting my hair do what it does <laughs> and just grow naturally the way it's supposed to and the way it's intended to. Um, I just did a blog entry on my blog site, Naturally Chic jere.blogspot.com and I talked about how frustrating sometimes we get when we don't think our hair is growing but let me tell you your hair is growing it's hard to notice its growth because your hair grows some people their hair grows out as opposed to down and if you're not like stretching it and flat ironing it it's really hard to see but when I just looked at some comparison pictures which I will post attached to this video oh my god like it grew a lot in that little like a 14 15 week period i mean it really really grew and i'm so 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 excited the thickness my curl pattern is like popping i'm having to do a lot less with my hair to get it to look how i want it to look and that makes me so happy so if you're a new natural out there do not be discouraged do not be think do not stop thinking that your hair isn't growing you know it is take some comparison pics just look at the thickness and if you are feeling discouraged just remind yourself that when you were relaxing your hair may be longer or it may have looked longer but it was most likely damaged and thinning which was what was happening to me in my case so I cannot be happier than I am right now with my hair I am loving it I'm this is my first twist out on my hair I've never really done a twist out before because my hair was so thin that twist outs didn't look as nice as a bantu knot or a braid out looked this is my first twist out and I am in love and I think this because my hair is a lot thicker and it's a lot healthier and it just worked a lot better for me. I'm throwing out at work today and like I was a little nervous like oh you know this is the workplace it's so stuffy but people are just stopping me. My, I'm a teacher. Students are stopping me especially my younger um, African-American students that are like you know dealing with the same things that I dealt with thinking that you had to have weed to be pretty. So when they come up to me and they're like oh Mrs. Reed, how do you do that to your hair? I want to do that too. And then I tell them how simple it is. Amazing. And it's just like, it, I'm just so satisfied with its progress and its growth. I just can't stop staring at it or looking at it or taking pictures of it. I'm just like, yeah, it's that serious. And um, it just goes to show you that anybody can achieve this progress and can achieve natural, healthy hair growth if you just take care of your hair. And one of the biggest things that I discovered is just leaving my hair to do what my hair wants to do. I talked about this in my hair story, but I'm so serious. The minute I let go of preconceived notions of what my natural hair was supposed to look like based on other people's natural hair, that's when I started to really notice a huge change in my hair. And I don't think it's because my hair has a mind of its own and it just grew because I started to love it. I think it's me, my attitude changed. And because my attitude changed, I started to work with my hair the way that my hair needed to be worked with. I'm not going to have Tracy Ellis curls. I'm never going to have those types of curls. But these curls, Jeray's curls, are great and they are perfect for me. And they are the best curls that I have seen because they are my curls and I'm pretty sure you are feeling the same way about your curls and if you don't feel the same way get to feel that way because trust me your curls are amazing your curls are beautiful your curls are great just the way you are those coily kinky curls in your hair are just the way that 
you know, God designed it. So love them, embrace them, and then you'll see the difference in your hair health and your feeling about your natural hair. So really quickly, let me just do a couple of length checks for you guys. I haven't straightened my hair since I took the braids out, and I don't think I'm going to. Okay, so the very back is, that's my collarbone. Take off my shirt. <laughs> the very back is past my collarbone, collarbone, here, past my collarbone, there it is, so I'm very, very excited about that, I'm maintaining length and keeping length, yay, so that's the back, okay, um, the sides, I have the sides pinned up, so it's going to be hard for me, let me just remove a body pin real quick, the sides are about shoulder length. That's the sides of my hair. Just a little bit past my shoulders, but not as long as the collarbone. And the front, which has always been the shortest part of my hair. Like when I was perming, I could never get it past my like eye. And then boom. Hi. <laughs> the front of my hair, front side is like chill, like around my smile, past my cheek. This is so exciting. Oh my god. And the very, 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 very front, which has always been the shortest part of my hair. The shortest part of my hair. Never could get past a bang like I just explained. That is... A little bit shorter than the side front, like right on my cheek. Yay! So I'm so excited about my hair. Your natural hair can grow. Um, just be patient. Just nurture it, love it like you would do any relationship and have an amazing relationship with your hair. I never thought that I would be so excited about my natural hair. Like I was queen addict to weaves and perming. I mean, it was ridiculous and here I am just like so excited about my natural hair and it's amazing um yeah I'll be back with some tutorial soon I'm doing a tutorial really soon on um the Karen's not Karen sorry Carol's daughter hair milk pudding twist out and this is amazing and yeah um, I'm just so excited. I'm so glad that I'm enjoying my journey and I'm just wishing that all of you are enjoying your journey as well. And if you have any questions about my hair care regime or what I do, I am going to, like I said, I'm going to be um, infusing castor oil into my routine because I've been reading good things about that just to see how it works with my hair. If it won't work with my hair, trust me, I'll let you know because not everything that works for this natural will work for this natural. So I will let you know. So again, thank you so much for viewing and subscribing. Oh my God. Let me stop and just say, I have 100 plus subscribers. What? My goal was to only get like 50. <laughs> and I have 100 plus. And I just hope that I keep on growing and this channel keeps on growing. And anything that you want me to do out there, my subscribers, you let me know. I have a lot of hairstyle tutorials coming up now that my fro is back. So I'll be doing some things with that. And yeah, so excited. Thank you guys so much for viewing. And... Stay tuned, there's some more exciting things coming for this channel. Don't forget to visit my blog spots, my Facebook page, my Instagram. I'll put all those links because I put a lot of pictures on my Instagram. I really OD. So if you want to see pictures of my hairstyles, check out my Instagram page and my Facebook page. All right, guys, later. I got to get back to work. Love and hugs. Bye.